Hello everyone, welcome back to Nuts and Bowls. We've all been enjoying this hot but gorgeous weather, and nothing's better than taking advantage of good weather than sports, such as soccer, kickball, and golf. Everything rolls better on well-cut grass, and from the looks of it, we better make like a suburban dad and get to mowing. To make sure your mower's up for the challenge, let's first take a look at the carburetor. Okay, so before you go and take apart your carburetor, I made this contraption here to help you see what happens inside. The better you understand the process, the easier it will be for you to clean your carburetor. Sweet. This will act as my fuel tank, and the vacuum here will act as my engine that's stuck in the intake stroke of the four-stroke process. The carburetor prepares a mixture of fuel and air for the engine to run smoothly. The most common carburetor used in small engines is what you call the float-style carburetor. It consists of an open pipe through which the air passes into the inlet of the engine. The pipe is in the form of a venturi, meaning it narrows at a section and then widens again. This causes airflow to increase in speed at the narrowest part. Next to the venturi is a butterfly valve called the throttle valve, a rotating disc that can be turned to either allow or block the flow of air. This valve controls the flow of air through the carburetor throat and the quantity of air fuel mixture the system will deliver, thereby regulating engine power and speed. Fuel is introduced into the airstream through the emulsifier's hole at the narrowest part of the venturi. Fuel flow is adjusted by means of precisely calibrated holes or jets in the fuel path. If any of the jets or your emulsion tube is clogged, it will interrupt your fuel flow, causing your engine to either run inefficiently or even worse, not at all. To help you preserve your carburetor, you can use fuel stabilizer or drain the fuel tank when you're storing your outdoor power equipment for the winter. I also recommend running non-ethanol fuel in your small engine. Ethanol absorbs water over time, leading to poor engine performance. E10 gas absorbs up to 50 times more water than standard gasoline. Simply put, it will dissolve plastic, rubber, fiberglass, and much more, potentially causing serious problems to small engines. Organic-based ethanol can also lose its combustibility in just one to three months due to oxidation and evaporation. When compared side by side, non-ethanol fuels can last up to six months. To give your small engine the life it deserves, make sure you do routine maintenance. These engines can take a beating, but keep going strong when they're taken care of. All right, well, I think it's time for me to get back out there because I need to work on my golf game because I think I've finally gotten the hang of it. If you have any questions about your carburetor or you would like to see some different equipment parts, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. I'm Joseph and this is Nuts and Bolts.